You got to see this video. It's a powerful, powerful trip. The first United States president to go to Israel on their first international trip. I mean, it's the most exciting thing you would see as Air Force One is landing in and we get a chance to see Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu welcome President Trump. A historical, historical event. Check it out. I'm so excited about President Trump's first international trip. It's such a great success, as we talked about in our last programs, about him coming through Saudi Arabia. Well, he's going to be coming into Israel. As a matter of fact, here's a quick little overview of what's going to take place in Israel. Take a look. So exciting, isn't it? Well, while President Trump was headed that way, Israel was getting ready. As a matter of fact, take a look. This is Israel getting ready for the president's arrival. We come back from this break, we're gonna take you to the president coming in on Air Force One. It's so exciting with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu meeting there, the president meeting there. I just, it's so exciting. Make sure you join us after the break. We are so excited about you know President Trump's trip to Israel. We've been praying for years for this yes. to happen, a breakthrough. As a matter of fact, we wanna watch this. This is Air Force One coming in as we speak, and Israel's coming in, the Prime Minister BB and the President Ravine, yes. all of us coming together to give a, a celebratory welcome to the president. As a matter of fact, let's go there now. You're looking at Air Force One. Air this is Force Air Force One. One coming in. This is in Tel Aviv, Ben Gurion Airport. And this is so exciting, isn't it, John? It is, I and mean, when you think about it, they're giving President Trump, I mean, the royal treatment, red carpet. It's exciting, totally exciting. Yes, it is, it really is. You're looking there at the president of Israel. Right on the right. That's uh, his wife, Ms. Ravine. Ravine. and then you have, well, we'll go back there and see him This is exciting. Oh, this my is goodness. the first yes. time a U.S. president has made Israel uh, the very first, first international foreign trip. trip. Yes, yes. So yes. truly yes. historic. They have all the, uh, the military branches of Israel out there to, to receive them. You can only imagine what the security is like right now, and this is amazing. Oh, I can imagine. Yes, yes, yes. Look at this. Wow. Air Force that's a big. That's a big plane. My it goodness. really is. Here are the bands. I believe they're going to place the Star Spangled Banner and welcoming the president in. You see the president's uh, Secret Service there, those black limousines. I'm sure that they're probably his. Oh, yeah. They, they've kind of been Oh, look at this. They're going to turn that thing. Oh, my. It's going to be close. Yeah. <laughs> this is so exciting. Listen, as you're watching. There you are. This is, this is the president right here on the right and his wife. Kama. Yeah, Revlin. And then you have, oh, we'll get back there in a moment. Turn They're that turning thing that thing around. Really yeah, they are. That's better than you drive your car, John. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> right? This is true. <laughs> so look at this. This wow. is so exciting. You're looking at the President Trump coming into Israel and Israel embracing them. Imagine, yeah. a, this is of a biblical proportions how important this trip is. He said, I'm a friend of Israel. America's a friend of Israel. And he's showing it by his presence. This is so historic. Like I said, the very first time a president of the United States has made a foreign trip, made first. Israel, first time. First time. In a previous administration, uh, President Obama didn't go to the second term towards the end. Well, he just, it was amazing. It was like, look at yeah. his adversarial relationship almost, Absolutely. you know. Absolutely. 
So you're looking at right here, they're getting ready for uh, the present. It'll, it'll probably take a little while for everything to get set up. They're gonna bring the stairs over and all. Oh, there, that, could, that's, that is uh, uh, the president and his wife, Revlon and his wife, what's her name? Nakama. Nakama, and then you got uh, Sarah and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Sarah is the uh, his Prime wife. Minister's wife right there. And it's interesting, you're going to see uh, Ron Dermer, who's the ambassador, Israeli ambassador to America, to America right. as well as David Friedman, who is the United States ambassador to Israel and his wife. And you know, they're also, I hope it's going to be this program, our next program, where they're going to take uh, the president into the prime minister's home. Oh, yes. And they're going to present him with some gifts and some different things. And they are yeah. again. I, mean, I just love Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He's a blessing, isn't he? What a leader. Nine. All of his speeches kept the world in the line yes. during the last eight years. Remember his speech at Congress and his speech at the United Nations. And yeah. you just want it just it kept us well received, yeah. standing ovations every single time he's come to speak, speak to, to the Congress and the Senate. Right. I mean, over like 30, 40 standing ovations. It's just right. absolutely amazing. Right. Well, what you're looking at right here, President Trump, Air Force One just arrived in, in, in Israel. Uh, the airport. Ben Gurion Airport in and, Tel Aviv. And you got the Prime Minister and the President of Israel right there to, to welcome him. This is exciting because this you're about to have the First exciting. Lady, the First Lady Melania come off this with uh, President Donald Trump. And he said from the beginning, even when he was running his campaign, that I stand with Israel and I'm going to be there for Israel. Oh, there it is. Here's the first crack. Okay. The door's open. There, get in the door. They're bringing All it right. up. Okay. And what's the interesting, he's, he always travels out with a huge entourage, but you had the Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, on this trip. Wilbur Ross, Secretary of Commerce, of course, Jared. And this is the most amazing cabinet, oh. historically, that has ever been put together. Yeah. You know, these are people, the grown, the grown Intelligent folks. Intelligent people, The yes. grown folks. Well, I wouldn't call any, I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. So. I guess well, you could well, say that. Success, I mean, yeah. success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're bringing the stairways over there. Any oh, moment now, history's know. about to be made. Amazing. Because as soon as the president I'm comes off Air Force know. One, that's the first, pres first time ever a president made Israel, their first international trip. That's right. And I believe, too, he's going to pray at the Western Wall. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. I can't wait. I can't wait it's to, see, be to see everything that happens. Wow. There you go. Red, red carpet treatment and all. Wow, this yes. is excellent. Right, right. And you see the helicopters in the background. when the, They're going to take the president uh, in a helicopter and fly him over the West Bank and a couple areas as they're bringing him in. So that's, I'm sure they're set up to be able that's to fly well in there. In fact, there's several helicopters there that, you know, to disguise, which is a they don't know which one the president's going to be. But the security, you can only imagine what's going to be like in right. Israel right now. Oh, I can imagine. You know, it's because if people don't know, Israel's not that big. No. If you put it inside of, what, Jersey, it's still... It's smaller than the state of New Jersey. So. Smaller than the state of New Jersey. I'm sure everything's on lockdown in Israel. There's no traffic. The worldwide enemies. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. So on the right again, you're looking at the president, President Revlin and his wife. And then also next, to you, next to her, you have Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Now, the, the prime minister will be talking about the position. It's the most powerful position in Israel. It's the yes. prime minister. Yes. He's the, over the government, and, and he's elected and serves for how long? He serves as an appointed uh, prime minister, and he's appointed by the president. The okay. president, okay. Rivlin, is elected for a seven-year term and is okay. really known as a... As a, as a, as a more of a statesman yes, figurehead yeah, type correct, situation. Yes, correct, correct. Okay, all right, all right. So they're getting ready to come off. But no doubt about it, the person who has so the So the Revlin reason. appointed Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Okay, all right. For about four, four year term. Okay, very good. That's a wise appointment. Oh, yes. Very wise appointment. In fact, he's the ninth uh, Prime Minister to Israel, and I think the longest serving Prime Minister is Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Oh, I would want him to serve. Oh, yeah. I think he's the ninth. Yes. Okay, yes. ninth. Yeah, ninth. Yes. Well, President Trump and First Lady Melania are about to come off of Air Force One, and you're going to see Israel and America meet in Israel. Mm. This is so exciting. So, so very exciting. Not only one of our strongest allies, but the, you know, we have a Judeo-Christian foundation to yes. America. Oh, I mean, our relationship out. runs so strong for yeah. so long. Yeah. And uh, kind of things come full circle when you have uh, President Truman who says... Was a full backing of, of Israel when Israel became a nation. So it's almost right. like, wow, you, you, you right. are again. Right. One of the key reasons why the Lord allowed Donald Trump to be president, according to what he revealed to Pastor John Kilpatrick, because he's going to give them generals to help Israel stay in their land. Here it is. I think it's he's amazing. about to come out. you got the, uh, the prime minister and the president and their wives at the foot of the stairwell of uh, Air Force One and President Trump. Wow. This is show you, this is a large, huge, it's huge very plane. Huge. My it, goodness. It's a little bit of room. 
It's very huge, as a matter of fact. But you're gonna have also you're gonna have uh, the ambassador Israel's ambassador to America standing there, and also America's ambassador to Israel. Correct. Correct. Yes, yeah. David Friedman. Okay, David and his Friedman. Wife, Tammy. There they are. So you're wow. looking from the left to the right now. You're, that is uh, America's ambassador to Israel so on the left, right. and his wife, and then the third one in is Israel's Ron ambassador. Derman. Yeah, Ron Derman. He's Israel's ambassador to America. Correct. Then you have the uh, prime minister's wife. There she is, right there, Sarah. Yeah. She's so I love. She's just so authentic. Yes, know? she is. Yes, she's very yeah. sweet. You can just yeah. see in some of the things that she says. She's very, very sweet. Lady. And they were the first first international visitors coming to. Uh, the presidency yes, they here. Were. Yes, because I remember them coming. We saw that on uh, BFN TV as well. Yes, I had one of the very first calls President Trump received when he won. If you're just joining us, you're in Israel right here. The president is about to get off Air Force One. The first visit, uh, President Trump, uh, first president ever to come in the international, first international trip. Makes sure that Israel's on that. On That's that right. Very first agenda. time. And uh, some major things are shifting here. This is in the middle of. You know, going to Ramah, going through uh, Saudi Arabia, yes. going to Rome, and the core part of this trip you're looking at is, is Israel. Two days. It's going to be two day, two day trip. Two days going to be at the Western Walls, and it goes to the, uh, obviously be in Jerusalem. The, the uh, Holocaust Museum, which is Yad Vashem. Yad Vashem, and then the Israel uh, Museum of Israel. That that's Yad the, the memorial, the Holocaust okay. memorial is in Yad Vashem. Okay. Yes. One million visitors a year. This is just uh, amazing. Yeah. It's supposed to be a presentation, I believe, also there where one of the victims of the Holocaust kept a journal as a child, mm. and they're going to present that, I believe, to the president while he's there during these two days, so I yeah. just can't wait. I think he's also see. going to be rekindling the eternal flame there oh, at, wow. at, at Yad Vashem. It's really awesome. significant. Really awesome. You may have been praying right now as you're watching, you're saying that God would uh, grant peace for Jerusalem. This is a huge answer to prayer because America's strength and uh, Israel's strength together will keep Israel safe. Absolutely. And it's one of his holy land. Yeah, it's the, it's the holy land. Now, when you arrived to Israel, did yeah. you get this type of welcome? I didn't get this type no, of welcome. No, I think, <laughs> I remember Pat being patted down for something. Oh, was he being patted was. down? Yeah. yeah. They took him behind the curtain. They patted said, me down in LaGuardia. I got oh, did they? <laughs> well, that's wow. a, yeah, LaGuardia. So you're looking right here. Again, you're looking from right to left. You're looking at the president of Israel on the right and his wife, uh, Levine, Le Rivlin. Rivlin. And then you're looking at uh, Prime Minister Bibi right beside him. There's a podium they're going to be speaking at, I believe, in just a little bit. And you have all the military branches on the side right there. Mm. And they have the military band. Wow. It's like some of the staff that's coming down and greeting uh, uh, the leaders here. These are all governmental leaders right here, yeah. different offices that are, that are there. It's about five or six helicopters out, out there as well. Yeah, they're supposed to, I believe, take the president on a trip over the West Bank in Air Marine One and take him over the West Bank and a couple areas to go meet the Prime Minister after this. So like, oh, I think wow. he's going to take a car and they're going to take him to look over things. Oh, wow. Oh, that's exciting. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's very exciting. If you're just joining us, Air Force One just pulled up into Israel and President Trump and the First Lady Melania are about to get off and they're going to meet with the President of Israel and the Prime Minister of Israel. There's uh, Jared and Ivanka. Ivanka Trump, or uh, Kushner. Kushner. That's uh, the President's daughter right there. They say that he's the one that kind of set this, this trip up. Senior advisor, yeah, senior, senior advisor. And, and right. the President's leaning strong on him to help negotiate a peace deal between the Palestinians and Israel. So I think he said, if you don't do it right, you're going to be fired. That's right. <laughs> you know, I think he said, no pressure, no yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah. His other son said, they asked him, so why don't you want to work with your dad? He's like, ah. Uh, it's more difficult than you think to present ideas. I'm the president. There the is. president of the United States, President wow. Trump, and the First Lady Melania coming off Air Force One. Let's watch. Let's watch. Let's watch. President Trump, he's, he's shaking, that's the president, president of Israel shaking the hand of the president of America right there. Reuven Rivlin, Reuven Rivlin, his wife. Wife in the comments. This is Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife Sarah is greeting her with a kiss. That's oh, beautiful. 
Let's hear what they're saying. Let's listen in. <laughs> Maybe a hundred thousand, maybe twenty thousand. <laughs> Is that it? Well, they, it was a little bit. Uh, I looked at it, and I think it's significant. So, thank you so much for coming. That's one happy man, Ron Dermot. He's an ambassador. The last eight years has been challenging, but he's an ambassador to America. This is David. This is our ambassador here. Yes. To and his wife, Tammy. Tammy okay. Brother Sands, I believe. Well, I think just got confirmed, by the way. These are the generals over there from military branches. The IBF, right? Mm -hmm. Israeli Defense Force. Well, listen, we're going to have to go to a break. We're going to continue there. Don't worry about it. You're not going to miss anything. We're going to go to a break and come right back and then see the president in Israel. Join us after this break. Welcome, welcome back. We're so excited to be able to, to be here. This, If you missed us right now, we are joining the president as he's landing in Israel. You're seeing Air Force One, uh, President Trump and Melania, First Lady right here. You're seeing Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And we want to join them. Let's go back to them. This is an exciting historical Amazing. visit. What is the protocol? Do you have any idea? So you're looking at President Trump, President Revlin, and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. On the right, you have First Lady Melania. Here. There's Sarah. Okay. Right. They stop everywhere for pictures. This is all part of it. <laughs> wow. You are watching history right here. That's you are right. watching history. President Trump in Israel. History's being made. Awesome. This is so awesome. Amazing. Oh, this is this is Israel's. This was national anthem here right now. Watching history right now made with America and Israel. So, <laughs> this is so awesome. You just saw they had their national anthems of America and of Israel. 
and you're looking at the presidents of Israel and America standing together, their wives, the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and Sarah's wife on the far right in the red is Sarah there, and the, their head general is coming out to greet them. And take them. Welcome to Israel. Baruch haba. Mishmar kavod. Shel chayalei tzva ha'agana l'Israel. Aruch v'nachon l'pkudatcha. Adoni. I believe they're about to take them on a tour of the troops so they get to see all this, the military uh, branches. Wow, if you've never been to Israel, let us say, you need to go to Israel. Yeah. This, is, this is amazing. So these are the presidents, President of America and the President of Israel. President Revlin on the right and President Trump on the left, obviously. The president's being such a, a wonderful world leader. A statesman. A statesman. Yes, statesman. statesman. And this is really what the world needs to see right now. They need to oh, see yeah. stability. They need to see a leader. Yeah. Sanity. Yes. Sanity yes. Is taking place. Yes. I believe he's going to take him to review the troops. All those to the right, of, to the left of your screen, that's all their branches of their military right there. Yes, they're going to be coming through the troops. And take both the presidents and give them a walk through all the troops. Yep, we're doing That's his, that's his, man, in the middle of the military, he's like, this is home, huh? Yeah. That's our, this is history, that's two presidents, President of Israel, President of America, President Trump, walking amongst the military of... Really, our allies, some of the best fighting best forces in the, in the world, the Israeli Defense Force. Yes. Everyone in Israel serves in the military upon yes. graduation. Two it's years, I believe, but mandatory two years. Truly amazing. If you're watching, you're watching History Made. This will be talked about in eternity. Oh, yeah. This is why God spared America, so mm -hmm. we would stand with Israel. Yes. You know? Mercy, it's mercy, just, mercy. Six yes. times, right? Six times, mercy. If you could just join us, you got in the far right, you have Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife, Sarah. You have President Trump and the First Lady, Melania. And to the left, you have President Revlin and his wife. Obama, yes. Okay. With Air Force One in the back. I was line. just going to say that. Right on the tarmac. Unbelievable. Beautiful. You're walking, you're watching history right now on VFN TV. You are watching history. This is Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on the right and First President Trump on the left. And they're about to walk and be given a, a, a speech at the uh, podium that's down at the end of this uh, red carpet. Friends. Oh, yeah. who, who knows what the next three to four, maybe possibly eight years holds in this relationship has been you know, If you think about it, yeah, biblically and prophetically, God says, this is why I spared you, America, mm -hmm. for this moment, right? Yeah. That's what he yes. said. Absolutely. This is such an important thing. If you've been praying for Israel, this is answers to your prayer. So it's okay to be encouraged. <laughs> oh, yes. Be encouraged. As a matter of fact, watch VFN TV because we'll bring you what's really happening That's in the world. right. That's right. Okay. I believe that uh, President Revlin is going to be uh, introducing or uh, giving a speech welcoming the president to, uh, to um, Israel. They're all getting their seats right now. There they are. Oh my goodness, that's exciting. This is exciting. It really is. It really is. There's Sarah, Prime Minister Bibi's wife. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. I believe that, the, that somebody's going to come and introduce somebody. We'll see. In protocol. You know, we're only just past the first 100 days of the presidency. It's amazing that this trip's already taking place. Right, right. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. As a matter of fact, they're about to introduce uh, the, the, the uh, president of Israel, and he's going to come out, and he's going to um, give a welcoming speech to our president. Let's join that now. Let's go back. Let's join it now. The President of the State of Israel, 
Reuven Ruby Rivlin will deliver his welcome remarks. Mr. President and the First Lady, Mr. Prime Minister and his wife Sarah, distinguished guests, dear friends, welcome, welcome to Israel. It is a great pleasure to have you here. Your visit is a symbol of the unbreakable bond between Israel and America. You are the president of Israel's greatest, most important ally. You are true friend of Israel and of the Jewish people. Mr. President, the world needs a strong United States. The Middle East needs a strong United States. Israel needs a strong United States. And may I say, the United States also needs a strong Israel. In the Middle East, an area that suffers from terrorism and madness, the partnership between the United States and Israel shines like a beacon of liberty and progress. The bond between us is bond between states, but also between people. We share common values as we share the hope for peace. The people of Israel are excited by your arrival and have great expectation from this visit. We thank you for your commitment to, the, to Israel's ability to face the threats of today and of tomorrow. Mr. President, today I will have the honor to host you in Jerusalem. We are honored to have you here with us as we mark 50 years of Jerusalem Day, Yom Yerushalayim as we say it in Hebrew. It makes us very happy to know that Israel's most important ally recognized the significance of Jerusalem to the Jewish people all around the world. Jerusalem is the beating heart of the Jewish people as it has for 3,000 years. Mr. President, you come here to Israel from Saudi Arabia. You will be at the Western Wall and visit the Holy Church, and then you are going to the Vatican. In just one journey, you will visit the three holiest places for Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. We each have different beliefs, but we all worship the same God. We can work together towards a better future. We shall continue to do so together, Mr. President. Ruchim Abaim Israel. Welcome to Israel. God bless you. God bless you, Mr. President. God bless you, First Lady. God bless America. God bless Israel. God bless Israel. It's so Ooh. awesome. It's a beautiful thing. The president is welcoming President uh, Revlin is welcoming President Trump to Israel. Uh, he did make a statement saying we all worship the same God. Actually. Israel worships the same God as uh, the Christians worship, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that's not the God that Islam worships. It's a different, a different God right there. But this is so exciting. As a matter of fact, when we get back from this break, we're going to hear President Trump. He's going to be giving his speech right there in just a moment. Join us after the break. We are in Israel with President Donald Trump. Air Force One's landed. The President of Israel's welcomed them. And now Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is about to speak. Let's go there now. Benjamin Netanyahu, ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Minister of the State of Israel and Minister of Foreign Affairs, 
Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu will deliver his welcome remarks. President Rivlin and his wife, Nechama, President Trump, Madam First Lady, Donald, Melania, welcome, a very warm welcome to Israel. Your visit here, Mr. President, is truly historic. Never before, as the first foreign trip of a President of the United States, included a visit to Israel. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for this powerful expression of your friendship to Israel. Mr. President, yesterday in Saudi Arabia, you delivered a, forf a forceful speech of clarity and conviction. You called on all nations to drive out terrorists and extremists. You called for the forces of civilization to confront the forces of barbarism. Mr. President, for 69 years, Israel has been doing precisely that. We've manned the front lines of civilizations. We fought terrorism. And we've built a modern, vibrant, democratic, Jewish state. In doing so, Mr. President, we've protected all faiths, Muslims, Christians, everyone. Throughout the Middle East, Christian communities are decimated, minorities persecuted. But here in Israel, we're proud to have a growing and thriving Christian community, and we guarantee the rights of all. Mr. President, Israel also shares the commitment to peace that you expressed yesterday. We've already made peace with Egypt and with Jordan, and Israel's hand is extended to peace, in peace, to all our neighbors, including the Palestinians. The peace we seek is a genuine and durable one in which the Jewish state is recognized. Security remains in Israel's hands and the conflict ends once and for all. Mr. President, you just flew from Riyadh to Tel Aviv. I hope that one day an Israeli Prime Minister will be able to fly from Tel Aviv to Riyadh. May your first trip to our region prove to be a historic milestone on the path towards reconciliation and peace. I look forward to working with you in the years ahead, Mr. President, to advance security, prosperity, and peace. I'm confident that under your leadership, the remarkable alliance between Israel and the United States will become ever greater, ever stronger. Donald and Melania, the entire U.S. delegation, on behalf of the government and the people of Israel, we welcome you to the State of Israel. May God bless you, Mr. President. May God bless Israel. And may God bless the United States of America. May God bless the United States of America. We love you, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. As a matter of fact, I think the president is about to get up and give his preach now. This is President Donald Trump. World history being made right now in Israel. Take a look. Thank you and shalom. It is wonderful to be here in Israel. President Rivlin, Mrs. Rivlin, Prime Minister Netanyahu, Mrs. Netanyahu, thank you very much. I am deeply grateful for your invitation and very, very honored to be with you. On my first trip overseas as president, I have come to the sacred and ancient land to reaffirm the unbreakable bond 
between the United States and the State of Israel. In this land so rich in history, Israel has built one of the world's great civilizations, a strong, resilient, determined, and prosperous nation. It is also a nation forged in the commitment that we will never allow the horrors and atrocities of the last century to be repeated. Now we must work together to build a future where the nations of the region are at peace and all of our children can grow and grow up strong and grow up free from terrorism and violence. During my travels in recent days, I have found new reasons for hope. I have just concluded a visit to Saudi Arabia, where yesterday I met with King Solomon and with the leaders from across the Muslim and Arab world. In that visit, we reached historic agreements to pursue greater and greater cooperation in the fight against terrorism and its evil ideology. My future travels will take me to visit Pope Francis at the Vatican and then our NATO and European allies. We have before us a rare opportunity to bring security and stability and peace to this region and to its people, defeating terrorism and creating a future of harmony, prosperity, and peace. But we can only get there working together. There is no other way. Mr. President, Mr. Prime Minister, I look forward to working closely with both of you during my stay. We love Israel. We respect Israel. And I send your people the warmest greetings from your friend and ally, all of the people in the United States of America. We are with you. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you for watching VFN TV. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com.